Hello my beautiful Scorpio, welcome to your love reading for late August 2023. I hope you're doing well. It looks like your love life is about to improve because people are going to see you as real, like the real deal. Um, they're going to feel at ease to be themselves around you. They're going to see you as someone who lacks artifice. Like you just, you don't wear any mask. You're not trying to be anyone other than who you are. And this person is going to really, or people generally are going to really appreciate that about you. You're not trying to prove anything to other people. And, um... You're also not willing to settle. So you're just allowing people to come and people to go. And the only message I'm getting regarding, you know, retrograde energy. So obviously we're still in Venus retrograde until early September. And we're about to enter into Mercury retrograde. And what can't be helped when we're in Mercury retrograde is pondering on the past. So I'm already feeling it now with Mercury in shadow. I feel like compelled to revisit previous relationships and what happened there. The key is to not get stuck thinking and dwelling. Um, the key is alchemy, using any emotions to our advantage. So especially bad ones. So sadness can be turned into art, anger into healthy boundaries and feeling lost into motivation to find your path. So when you catch yourself thinking about past events, past people, past experiences, try not to gravitate towards the negative. You know, it's, it's easy to kind of be angry towards an ex because they couldn't be the person that you thought they were capable of being and they weren't able to love you in the way that you deserve to be loved but instead of dwelling on those thoughts I want you to think about what good came from that relationship maybe you learned something really valuable about yourself maybe you learned about what you don't want so you got clearer thanks to that person about the type of relationship that you want to build um, I hope that that resonates with you um, so that's what I'm seeing in terms of your love life you are uh, on the right track. There's a card here saying that there are divine workings in any current struggle because certain releases have to take place for you to be at the appropriate energetic vibration in order to move towards where you need to be and who you need to interact with. So I like this. You also have a card saying that assistance is coming your way. So you are being helped. So I encourage you to just see the good in everything and be open to gaining a better understanding remember don't settle and um, ask yourself when you meet someone or you're presented with any type of opportunity is this worth fighting for and it's a pretty clear yes or no then right keep it simple so let's have a look I'm gonna just press pause and get some general messages for you Okay, Scorpio, really interesting work cards coming out. So some of you are in a period of transition. Um, if you're not, I see travel and some of you could be working during your travels. Okay, so we have the Six of Swords here, which is a card about transition. It's also saying that um, the challenging times are coming to an end. So some of you have been going through a difficult period. Uh, the Adventure card is also here. So this is about exciting work moves that could take you outdoors or on a trip relationships at work are highlighted now so communication with co-workers um, business partners um, the advice is to make choices with extreme care so there could be some office politics that you need to navigate right now Whatever the case, it looks good for you. Whenever I see the fish, when it comes to money and career, it's a symbol for prosperity. And it's saying that the universe is sending you help. The universe is helping you to create the purposeful life that you really want to have. You just need to overcome some fears. There are certain things holding you back. Um, for some of you, it could be 
bosses, difficult bosses. Uh, but there are leadership opportunities coming up for you. And there's a suggestion that you are moving away from a situation that you've outgrown. The Eight of Cups is here, which is about leaving something behind and moving towards greater fulfillment. So, you know, you could be feeling like there's more to life than what you're living and it's time to move on. So you're moving from a situation that isn't good for you and you're being drawn to something else that would make you happier. And it might not feel like you are, but you are actually in control here. Not only that, we have the Six of Wands, which is a card about victory. You are on the verge of finding the perfect work for you. So don't give up. Some of you might need to grow your own business in order to be truly happy. Um, but there's leadership opportunities for the taking. There's some kind of promotion with the Six of Wands. You'll be sick, singled out for special recognition. You've done an amazing job and you deserve this recognition. Okay. Um, it feels like the situation that you've outgrown, it was, it was limiting you. Um, you've got the Eight of Swords here and you can see there's a bird ready to fly out of the cage um, to something a lot more suitable. You know, at one point you could have convinced yourself that you were trapped. Maybe someone at work made you feel cornered. Like you didn't have a choice in a situation, but really you weren't trapped. Really this person did you a favor because if they hadn't have treated you in a certain way, if they haven't had done something unfair, you might not have considered doing something completely different. You might have stayed in that cage um, and now you're ready to soar to new heights um, and claim your freedom. You've got the limitations card here that says that obstacles are not what they seem. You're able to get around them with some careful thought and simply choose something better for you. Okay, so access to greater prosperity is opening up for you slowly. Some of you will be called to serve as a mentor or as a role model and help guide people um, with your wisdom and experience. But this is also reference to Virgo season, which we're about to enter. Now, you know, because it's the lantern and we know that the hermit uh, holds the lantern. So Virgo season and Leo season are making an appearance here. Um, we have the Queen of Swords and we have the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles is a really solid new beginning being offered to you. It's a windfall of abundance. It's timely assistance. It's a serendipitous meeting. It's, you know, it's someone that you know, um, thinking of you straight away when an opportunity arises, um, giving you rewarding advice. It's an offer. It's a fabulous new job or promotion or the prospect of a profitable business venture or investment. Remember that your life experiences have prepared you for this moment of truth. And it's time now to clear away situations that aren't working for you anymore and disengage from people who create more drama than happiness. Some of you will be thinking, oh, if I go in this brand new direction, maybe I, um, it's not really what I had in mind or I might need to sacrifice something. Um, it's going to be worth your while, let me tell you. It's going to allow you more freedom um, and it's, it's very promising here, okay? So just trust because the universe is sending you help and this is a real defining moment in your career. Very, very interesting cards when it comes to work. Let me know if that's resonated with you in the comment section below. Um, we're going to get some manifestation messages. And then I'm going to finish on, you know, what blocks that you need to be aware of during, you know, retrograde season. Okay, let's see. Angels and Spirit, what are the messages for Scorpio, please? What are the messages for Scorpio in late August 2023, please? What are the messages for Scorpio? Breathe through the tension. Okay. It's interesting because it's full moon in Scorpio energy. 
Angels and Spirit, please show me what are the messages for Scorpio? So breathe through the tension, clear your mind, relax, and trust the universe. Practice gratitude. Amazing messages. So things might not feel like they're moving in a favorable way for you, but they actually are. So you're just going to need to trust and focus on things that you're grateful for. And you've got let the money flow in. So I definitely feel like, you know, prosperity lies ahead. I'm just going to get a couple of more general messages before we look at your blockages. You've got find a way to connect the threads. It reminds me of that limitations card. The need to move around any perceived obstacles because they're not as they seem. And the spider woman, that's what this card is called. The spider is about creativity, like weaving a web out of what you have, you know, moving the situation into your favor. That's what a spider does. Like it, it trusts that eventually its prey is going to fly into the web. It's only a matter of time. So it uses its expertise and does what it can with what it has, that type of thing, okay? You've got, let your darker emotions bring you strength. Okay, so you're very determined. Um, if something has gone awry, like just say there's a situation at work that um, is unfair or it's frustrating, you need to channel those difficult feelings into you know determination to get a better result, something like that. Messages for Scorpio heading into September 2023, please, Spirit. Okay, so you have Beyond Your Home is a World to Be Discovered. Explore it. So definitely travel is on the horizon. If you haven't got any planned, I encourage you to plan it. It's a time to expand your horizons and see the infinite possibilities that are before you. Look within and be honest with yourself, and then you'll be freed. Okay, interesting. So if you were honest with yourself about a situation that's bothering you, um, then you would see that it's actually a blessing. Your wish can be granted if you ask for help. And you can be foremost among women. Take aim to reach your goals. You can be foremost amongst men. Let's take gender out of this. The message is to take aim to reach your goals. Okay. Um, and the message is you can overcome the odds and your competition, all right? Um, I'm seeing the Queen of Wands there, so there's a need to be confident and go after what it is that you want. Now, I'm drawn to the Dream Oracle cards. Messages for Scorpio, please, in late August 2023. You've got dance, it says move to the rhythm of your soul. You've got naked, dare to bear all. And remember where you're from and who you really are. Now, that's what that comes back to what I started the reading off with. I said that you would be appealing to a lot of suitors right now because they see you as real, the real deal. You dare to bear it all. You're natural. You're not trying to be anything other than you are. You're moving to the rhythm of your soul. You know, you're giving off real genuine kind of vibes, like what you see is what you get. And you do remember where you're from and who you really are. So you're setting yourself um, apart from other people who are kind of just not true to themselves. They're trying to be other than who they are, that type of thing. So before we do blockages, I'm, I'm keen to kind of get another love message for you because we kind of just skimmed over the love part in the beginning, didn't we? 
Let's see, angels and spirit, please show me what is the love message for Scorpio in late August 2023? What is the message for Scorpio in love? What is the message for Scorpio in love, please? You've got aquamarine. It's talking about enhanced clarity. Yeah, you are very clear about what you want. It's, it's talking about calm discernment. So you're very clear about if someone's right for you. You know, if they're on the same page, if they're looking for the same thing, if they're going to be, you know, a good investment or not. You're very aware and accepting of your truth. So it's saying um, that you're... You're going through a moment where you're prepared to slow down and look carefully at the details. You're becoming crystal clear in communicating your needs and in understanding those of others. Old patterns may, well, I feel like you're more understanding that old patterns sometimes cause you to overlook new information and that's why you're prepared to just take it slow. You're processing material that can give you important insights into your relationships and assist you in making the right choice. So they're saying, trust what you notice. If you're feeling a sense of deja vu when it comes to a relationship, it's the universe calling you to learn the lesson of aquamarine, which is be discerning and observant, and you'll surely make decisions that are for the highest good of all. Wow. Um, okay, so let's have a look at your blockages. What could be blocking Scorpio right now, please, Spirit? What could be blocking Scorpio right now? All right, we've got insecurity low self-esteem so we are all part of the divine we come to live our life equipped with what we need but once we are here we forget who we are we forget what we're made of we forget who supports us now this is really interesting because it is it contradicts what i said we were doing right now we were focusing on right now just being our authentic selves but there's going to be bad days there's going to be weak moments where our self-acceptance and self-love plummets. So we need to pay attention to, to that. Um, and not so much what others say about us. Okay? Because life will inevitably kick us and push us down sometimes. We all experience trauma, pain, loss and fear. Um, I don't want you to look back at past failed relationships and blame yourself and criticize yourself and treat yourself worse than how you've treated others don't put yourself down don't lose your self-confidence and doubt your power so you're being asked to consider how you feel about yourself do you love like and respect yourself what blocks you from seeing yourself as a divine being what are the roots of your insecurities? Because you have everything it takes to make the desired journey that you have in love. You need to believe in your own power and abilities. See the divine in you and love and accept yourself as you are. Now, jealousy has also cropped up here as well. Remember to keep your eyes trained on yourself and not compare yourself with other people. People who look like they're in a blissfully happy relationship. Yes, they might have what you want desperately in love, but you might have what they want desperately in career. We're all on our own different journey, a different stage on the journey. So, yes, it might be a sore spot for you and you feel it when you see other people achieving the success that you want, but when they get something that you desire, um, don't feel that it's unfair um know that you know they can have it so can you right um regret pain and anger 
kind of come to the fore when we're feeling jealous. We also start to doubt the possibility of our own success. We stop trusting the flow and stop seeing our own beauty and power. So who are you jealous of and why? And what is your envy trying to teach you? What can you do better to achieve what you want? The affirmation is I set my intentions and focus on important goals in my life. I trust the universe to deliver what's mine. The success of others give, gives me joy and strength. Okay, I'm going to just close the reading with an animal power message for you. What does Scorpio need to know at the end of August 2023, please, Spirit? What are the messages for Scorpio? love that at the bottom we've got the hummingbird it says receive the sweetness of life discover happiness that's the clam celebrate the power of expression awaken artistic spirit and lean into true intimacy interesting that that's the snail so slow and steady wins the race and you know you've got the i think it was aquamarine that said there are details that need your time so consider them slowly before making a decision i hope that this was helpful do leave me feedback in the comment section scorpio and i'll see you guys again soon bye